What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York invading Columbus, Ohio for Sonic Temple Fest. Oh, sorry, sorry, bro. I just inv I invaded your whole setup. <laughs> and we are here with No One Cares, which I got to say, by the way you were obsessively moving that water bottle, it seems like you guys do care. Well, it was in the shot. I just didn't want it, you know, blocking anything. Maybe I should get a sponsor from there. Maybe I'm trying to get a sponsor. What is it? It's a <laughs> spring water sponsor. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. We don't get much water, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. But it's so awesome to have you guys here. Mentally Unhealthy is uh, your uh, latest uh, EP. That's a brand new EP. Yep. Yeah. Do you just want to like talk about the making of it and how it's been thus far? Sure, man. Um, we actually went into the studio at the beginning of this year. It was January, and we are already released a previous single before that called "I Think I'm Growing Up," and we wanted to lay some more tracks down, but we didn't want to give people a full album just because people's attention spans today can't take it. We were like, you know, three tracks would be a really good, you know, representation of us. So, you know, the whole band is my brother and I. And so we just went into a little studio. We live in L.A. It's in this area in L.A. called The Valley. And um, Valley of the Shadow of Death. That's pretty The Valley. You know, we call it The Valley. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a live album, so it's us playing. That's really the base of the tracks. We, we'd go into a room and just jam out on the songs live, and once we really got a take where we, we felt like we got the feeling of the song, you know, then you sing vocals and all that. But uh, the way we do it's pretty natural, you know, our, our process of going about it. And yeah, it's a three song EP called Mentally Unhealthy, and uh, we're, we're very excited about it. Being that it was like a live EP, as you said, it, I guess, and you kind of just answered the question, but you wanted to make something very organic and raw with it, right? Well, just every time you play a live show, you go, I wish we could capture that sort of energy into a, re a recording. You know, you don't want to have the recording just be too clean, in, in my opinion. So that was kind of our vibe going into it. Yeah, capture our energy together as musicians playing together. And maybe if I'm asking this question a little too early, but is this maybe kind of like a sound that you want to maybe incorporate for if the next EP or a full-length album maybe? Um, you know, as time goes on, I think I, I, I do most of the writing in the band, and I think just as time goes on, you change. You know, your writing style changes a little bit, so it's like this is where we're at now musically. And, you know, there's one song on the EP that was written actually years ago when I was like 13 years old called Beach Bum. It's just like this fun track. So, you know, you never know. You could bring a song back from years ago and, and, and play, you know. And uh, being that you guys are brothers, as you say, right, uh, how has making music together and playing together maybe uh, influenced your brotherhood? You know, there's the Cavalera brothers, the Gojira brothers, the Alien Weaponry brothers. I think it uh, really just makes us closer, you know, spend a lot of time together. And, you know, yeah, we're, you know, we get along anyways, but when you do something like music together or if you play it on a team or it's when you work on something together, it, it does bond you more and, and makes you closer. Yeah. Now, is there a certain message you guys try to convey in your music, or it does everything kind of like vary? Um, there's nothing, you know, specific. Um, it, 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 each song is like a new adventure. That's how I've kind of always looked at, you know, writing music. So, no, there's no like overall message. We just love playing music and love the style of music that we play and want to share it with people. One, th one thing, and it's not a message or anything, but. I try to not be modern in the sense of like so much music, so much art. Everything, I'm not saying everything sounds the same, but everything is based, I don't know, like so much stuff is the same today. And I just, we try to just be soul. us, be, be just it. be real, yeah, yeah. you know, not, uh, not give it the same sound that everything has because it's popular to sound a certain way right now. Our EP is very raw, and uh, and I'm proud of that. Yeah. And it's you know it's just it's just who we naturally are. We just try to be real about it. Absolutely. And uh, the final question I wanted to ask you is because I, I said before we started rolling, I really wanted to talk a lot about this festival. I mean, you, you mentioned that you guys played a uh, Not Fest meets Ozfest in 2016. Yeah. I mean. It almost seems like every festival is kind of different. Would you say that? I mean, this is only our second one, but it is very different, the feeling between that one and this one. Um, 
I, I really like the vibe of this Sonic Temple. I mean, this is the first year they're calling it Sonic Temple. It's been rock on the range for really for the past couple of years. And uh, I don't know, I think I love how diverse the lineup they have on this festival is. There's super heavy bands, there's some, you know, cooler like <laughs> poppy stuff. And This yeah. is going to sound funny, but there's a lot more hot girls at this festival than, Oz. than OzFest. <laughs> I mean... OzFest, you got that hardcore metal. OzFest you know. is metal. You know, was, and metal's fine, but I'm more of a rock got guy. plenty of ballads playing here. Yeah. yeah. You, you have some balance here, though, yeah, yeah. Better girls here, for sure. Playing a festival versus like playing a regular show, it has to be a completely different experience for a band as well, right? You know, the stages are bigger, literally. Um, you know, you're like out in this open field. Metaphorically, so, literally, physically. Yeah, being on the stage is like a different experience. You know, we're used to playing like little clubs in LA and, you know, having people stone face you. Yeah. So it's great to come to a place where people actually want to hear some music going on. You know, and, and people are open to hearing new bands. I, we were the first band up on our stage today. We opened it up, and, you know, we had a nice crowd coming to check us out, so it, it felt good. Yeah, yeah, you could feel uh, all the people in the crowd, they're into music. You, you could feel their openness to wanting to hear music. Yeah. It's not like people in a bar who are just kind of like, Want music can you background. turn down, you know? Here, they're, they're, they're into it. So before we go, I'd like to thank you guys so much for your time today. It's so great to have you guys here. Is there just anything else with No One Cares that you would uh, like to promote in terms of new music or shows coming up? If you want to follow us, check us out at No One Cares Music. All the information's there. And yeah, check us out. And we spell it with the number one. With the number one. No one cares. No one cares. cares. I, I saw that written um, when I got the press release yeah. for everything. I was like, wow, that's a really cool band name. Oh, thank you so much, yeah. man. Well, thank you guys so much. Everybody, no one cares. Be sure to pick up their new EP, Mentally Unhealthy, if you haven't already. This is Alex from Heavy New York at Sonic Temple. We'll see you next time.